If you thought Love Lies Bleeding was another run of the male female empowerment nonsense that Hollywood tends to churn out these days, well, you will be slightly wrong, but only slightly. And that's a good thing in this case. Though it has some female empowerment and lesbian themes, it also offers a lot more to the audience and the themes are not excessively in your face. I was actually intrigued by this film and its storytelling. The thing which initially inspired the character was really wanting to tell a story about an incredibly muscular woman. Love Lies Bleeding is a 2024 romantic thriller co-written and directed by Rose Glass, whose notable works include Saint Maud and stars Kristen Stewart, Ed Harris, Dave Franco and the newcomer Katie O'Brien. Love Lies Bleeding was set in 1989. It chronicles the relationship between a reclusive gym manager Kristen Stewart and a crime family Ed Harris and an ambitious bodybuilder Katie O'Brien. Love Lies Bleeding is an original screenplay written by Rose Glass and Veronica Tofelska, so this time around, it's not an adaptation from a novel in case you were wondering. This film contains a lot of vulgarity and some in-your-face sex scenes, so to speak also coupled with a few questionable yet artistic gross scenes. I think the director had fun with some of her imagination, and sure, why not? It's an A24 movie after all. And with that said, here is the plot followed by the pros and cons and my two cents rating. A gym manager Lou falls for Jackie, a bodybuilder who is passing through town en route to a competition in Las Vegas. But during her brief stay in town, a series of unfortunate events occurred leading to a fair few murders. Now the couple will try to tie up loose ends and skip town. Now for the pros and cons of this film, starting with cons. Con number one. There is some emphasis on bulging muscle of a She-Hulk-like scenario that doesn't pay off as well as it could have in the end. Con number two. All the men in this film have no redeemable qualities and that's a little unrealistic. However, it's just a film and it's not that deep. And that's it for cons. Let's move on to pros now. Pro number one. Christian Stewart and Katie O'Brien gave a pretty convincing performance in their respective roles. Their chemistry on screen was pretty believable. Pro number two. Ed Harris was also fantastic as a menacing presence as usual. We've seen him play this archetype in other movies, so he delivered as usual in Love Lies Bleeding. Pro number three. I really enjoyed the pace of this film. It doesn't feel rushed and you had reasons to care about each character on screen. Pro number four. The fact this movie was shot in Albuquerque, New Mexico adds this western vibe to it. I really enjoyed that unforgiving landscape. Pro number five. The cinematography by Ben Fordsman was fantastic, stunning even, because it helped elevate the movie to appear very high budget, even though it was shot on an indie budget. Pro number six. Even though the director took some wild, out there artistic liberties, this film is still quite easily understandable and the concept of lust and violence colliding was a story well told. I'm gonna go ahead and rate this movie a 7 out of 10 because I did enjoy it for what it was. A story about love, lust, violence, and evil men. It also had some stunning visuals to accompany it. Love Lies Bleeding is not a movie you watch with your parents or kids in the same room, but I do recommend it if you want to watch a film that is artistically daring and thrilling all at the same time then you will love Love Lies Bleeding. And that's my two cents. If you made it this far and found value in this video, please like and consider subscribing. And for another visually stunning indie movie, watch this.